Hello guys, I'm Dr. Enrique Bujanda. I'm a general surgeon at Orlando Health South Lake Hospital here in Claremont, Florida. And I'm here to discuss a little bit about gallbladder disease. So the quick disclaimer, I hope you're not grossed out by the surgical anatomy. So uh, I wanna be upfront with this. I'm gonna show you now a gross anatomy of the gallbladder. Now, what we have here is the gallbladder that we just removed. Our patient was experiencing abdominal pain and she confused this a lot of times with just, you know, something in her stomach ache or didn't sit right with her after eating. However, it was the gallbladder all along. So when he identified the problem, the first line of treatment is surgery. So we're able to remove her gallbladder, which is right here. Now, uh, the gallbladder itself is diseased because it contains gallstones. You're gonna see those next. And these are the gallstones that we removed from our patient today from her gallbladder. As you can see, these are stones that are looking black pigmented. They call these pigment stones, and these are stones that are formed from stasis of the bile that she had been having, all right? So uh, these are how it look. They can be small, they can be larger than this. They can come in many colors, especially cholesterol will look yellow. And these are rare, these are called pigment stones.